Hey guys, this is Luke again, and welcome to the season one finale of the live stories. Yes, we're on to the tenth episode of this little show. This this little show that I have onto my channel, and yeah, this is the season one finale. Cause yeah, I don't really have anything else to tell, and besides, um, when I was thinking about you know ending it season one, it perfectly matched up to ten, which is how Ninjago seasons four to nine had their episodes at each ten episodes. Um, so, today's life story is called My Family's History with Cats. Basically, my family own, owns owned a lot of cats during during the time I was alive. Four right now. Three are alive. Unfortunately, one is dead. Um, to my knowledge, we could have more. For, we could have had more for all I know. But as far as we I know, we've had four cats during the course of my lifetime. Um, and the first cat we had was called Smokey. We named him Smokey because he was gray and he looked like smoke. And this cat was pretty and this was my childhood cat growing up. I loved this cat because I used to be a real big cat person back in the day. I kind of still am. Not as much as I was back then, though. But I loved this cat, man. This cat just, like, was, like, my buddy everywhere. And, yeah, he lived to be a good, good age. I think he was, like, 15 to 18 when he passed. So yeah, he it it depends on I think cat and dog years are the same thing where if you multiply it by 7 it gets their age and cat and dog years. I think that's how it works. I could be wrong as far as I know. But he he died of old age. I think he but I was able to pet him on his last day and the day he died was the day we were actually going to go on vacation and on to my grandparents to my grandpa's house. So, and I was upset because I loved that cat, man. I loved it. Um, so, for a while, we didn't have a cat. Um, and then, on Halloween, right before I turned 13, um, at least I think it was, right before I turned 13, um, we, my dad says, he found a chicken on on the porch, and then when he looked at, it, he's, he was like, "That's not a chicken. That's a cat." And it was a real small cat. It was a stray, and we and we loved that thing. We let it have food, and we actually let it stay here. It's been in our house for a couple for years now, um, and we named him Tom, and he's still alive. He's old and fat now, but he's still alive. Then, um, for some reason, my mom wanted to get another cat because she, my, my mom is an animal lover, obviously, so I couldn't stop her. And she, um, got another cat, um, which she named Gia, named after the Greek goddess of the earth, which the correct pronunciation is Gaia, but for some reason she pronounces it Gia. It, it should be Gaia, but it's the way she pronounces it. But And then our last cat that we have um, was one that we got recently. I actually made a post about this on my Instagram account. Um, basically, for some reason, I kept hearing a meow. Meow, 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 meow. And I knew that wasn't Tom because he doesn't meow that much. So I was thinking, who is making that noise? And then we looked on the porch and there's this cat. This little baby kitten. It looks, he's small. He was small. Um, and he was so cute. He was so cute. And... We didn't really give him a name until, like, a week later. And what my mom chose for the name, I f 
fucking hated it because it just did not sound right to me. Vito, not Vito, like V I T O, like Italian. Vito, V I D O, Vito. I hated that name. I wanted him to call him Shadow or Ghost or something like that or, or something like that. I wanted to call him because of the meaning behind it. Not because it's just it, cuz Vito felt like a too ordinary of a name to me. Um and by the way, Tom is male, Gia is female, and Vito is a male. We actually thought Vito was a female at one point, but it's a male. And Smokey was a male. So we only had one cat female, and the rest of the cats we had were male. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this season finale of the life stories. The reason why I'm ending season one here is because I, I feel like that life, the life stories were kind of in the way of other content that I want to do. And I'll explain this more with towards Ninjago content. I feel like I need to kind of stop producing it as much. I want to kind of take a step back of it and do content that I want to do. I want to game. I want to do other things. Because I can't rely on Ninjago forever. I can't rely on this stuff forever. I got to do some other things if I... If I want to be successful. So I hope you guys understand as to why I am ending season. This is the season one finale. And as to why I probably might push back Ninjago content. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a th um, so subscribe to the channel. But click on that red subscribe button. And click on the notification bell to see every video that I will upload. And I'll see all you folks in the next video. Bye bye.